Guys, <clears throat> I have to tell you about the stupidest fucking movie I've ever seen. And let me tell you how stupid it is. Let me give you, let me put this in perspective. I am currently, fuck, 55 minutes out of an hour and 20 minutes into this stupid piece of crap movie. It's called Human Centipede. Dude, this movie... Where do I even start? The let's start with the with the main character, the main focus, the guy who I want to kind of roast in this video. This goofy ass Faust wannabe Looney Tunes doctor dude um, that they got as this main character, right? <clears throat> so he's kidnapping these people, and he wants to do this goofy Looney absolute out of this world stupid experiment where he connects three people from the head to the anus really 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 retarded idea just so stupid i don't i think okay we're gonna get back to the practicality of it all right um this dude he makes this creature, right? He creates it. Um, it's a pretty wacky, gross scene, right? Um, and why did they produce the movie, bro? Why did they? Who the fuck thought of that, man? Why? Why would you even? Why would you produce this? Why would you fucking film this? The acting is, first of all, atrocious. The main, the three, um, or the two main girls, um, are just two of the stupidest. Honestly, I think everybody in the video, in the movie, um, except for, like, this one, the one Japanese dude, um, everybody in the movie was just hit with this moron virus. This, like, retard pathogen is just going absolutely ham in their bodies just destroying their minds and, and and just reducing them all down to just one singular brain cell it is absolutely moronic there was a scene where this girl was standing in 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 the room right um so the goofy faust he, he uh she escaped from the goofy faust dude he fastened them onto the bed with um onto these like gurneys with belts um, and was doing all types of crap with them. Um, and, right, she, one of the girls gets away. And she runs to, like, another room or something. I forget what happens. But basically, she ends up coming up back for her friend because she's able to escape him for so long. It's obviously a trap, right? Um, but this girl, instead of just taking the gurney and pushing it through the glass door, right, that's, like, right behind her. And she, I'm pretty sure at this point she knows it's there. And even if she doesn't know it's there, she definitely should have checked, right? Because a window is probably the best way to get out of a situation like that. And most likely, dude is probably in the house scrambling around for some type of Looney Tunes, like, Wiley Coyote, you know, Acme, you know, TNT type contraption, right? This dude is looking for, you know, the, the Schmogginator 9000, the, you know, some type of, you know, yarn machine that'll, you know, summon some giant cat monster or something. This dude is looking for something stupid, right? So you, you know, th you know, this guy's an idiot, right? He, he fastened them to the bed with belts um, he started bringing out, like, a he brought, like, a harpoon gun or, like, a, a stun gun. And he was doing all types of goofy stuff. I think the goofiest thing that happened was he, he like, had this pool cover. He, like, um, this pool covering thing. The, the girl was in a pool, right? He was hiding from her earlier in the movie. And, right, the, the, the pool cover came over the pool but the girl was in it and she just like swam up and, and it was light enough for her to just push out from like under it so she could breathe and she was perfectly fine. So there was just like no point of him putting the cover over the pool 
Why? And then he just left? Like, what? 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 What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? And then, all right, so, right, back to the girl being in, like, the room. She's in the room, right? And at this point, right, you she knows the guy is stupid, right? I just told you guys why the guy is stupid. He had the perfect opportunity to get this girl. I guess he I guess he figured he could get her later. I don't know. He was just it was just really it was really stupid. Um so he you know, she's sitting there in this room, right? I I, I don't get that's the perfect opportunity. At the end of the day, but the point I'm trying to make is it's the perfect opportunity. Leave. Get out of there. Break a window. Leave. Roll her out to the front. Take her off the gurney. Get her in the car and leave. What is the point of sitting there like an idiot? feebly just wandering around. I get that you're scared and I get that you're scrambling for your life and you're confused. But you gotta... You gotta use your brain. You gotta use your head. You gotta be practical in situations like this, man. I don't understand why she didn't look for the closest window. And and, and not even that, the closest, like, weapon. She didn't even arm herself or nothing. She was just running around. I don't understand the point of this this movie at all, bro. It's just so dumb. And the acting is, is trash and... The bro, the, the the actual experiment in itself, dude, it's so stupid. And he just sits around fumbling around with this creature for like twenty minutes, just like uh, trying to trying to tame it like it's a goddamn dog or something. It, it's just stupid. It's stupid. It's it's realistically, man. I've seen a lot of dumb stuff in my time on the internet. I've seen. Honestly, a lot of really silly, like, fan-made cartoons on, like, DeviantArt and, like, Instagram where people will make their own, like, Dragon Ball characters or whatever. And honestly, you know what? It's goofy. It's stupid. But it's, you know, I, I, I mess with that kind of creativity. That's dope, you know? You're actually, you know, these are realistically people that are just growing up and, like, learning to, you know, use these softwares and experiment and honestly, it's just so cool to see new people getting into that stuff, right? They, they're learning. They're growing. That's awesome. That's exactly what I encourage and I like to see. But when it comes to these Hollywood-level dudes, man, right? You, 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 how did you, first of all, how did you get people to play in this movie? How? Why would who, who willingly who, who why right and oh man dude holy shit what are you doing how do you think of something like actually that's not it's not really that far fetched to be honest but dog what do you, why like, why make a whole movie about it you could have made a YouTube video you could have made one of those weird animations. And, you know, it would have been something that people looked at and they're like, whoa, that's fucking weird. And then never thought about it again, right? At the end of the day, man, you, you could have at least made, like, a more disturbing plot. More in... I, I don't fucking know. A more engaging fucking story. G give, give it, like, a reason to exist, man. Make... Something like this has to be practical, and this, this goofy ass dude, bro, oh my god, this goofy ass, doofenshmirtz, Robotnik, Robbie Rotten motherfucker, man, he is the goofiest character I've ever seen in a horror movie. The lunacy of this man's actions made the movie just, it, it, it can't, it couldn't, it was, it, it was, Basically, it couldn't be scary because of how stupid it was. I'm sitting up here literally laughing, bro, because why would anybody do this, bro? A really disturbed individual would not. Why would you take the time to do that? E even if, 
nigga, what are you doing with your life, bro? I'm sorry, man. Um, yeah, man, I'm sorry, guys. I, I don't know. I, I like to put on horror movies and stuff and, like, disturbing movies and YouTube videos and just, just generally just random stuff on pretty much when I'm doing my art. So I decided to watch this movie because I saw that one of, uh, the second one was on like what it was one of the most disturbing movies people said. So I decided to watch it and it was just, it was so dumb, man. This, uh, I mean, I've only seen again, 55 minutes of it. So I, I know this is really just me crapping on the movie. I don't really care. It's 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 too goofy to be disturbing to me. I, it's just wacky. I don't know. Maybe this, I hope, I, I don't know. I don't want to say I hope the second one is worse. Because, like, the first one was already pretty bad. It was, it, it, it was, don't get me wrong. It was disturbing, right? It was gross. It was out there. But it was just... It was too wacky. Like, the atmosphere was not captivating. I didn't feel, like, engaged, really, in the movie at all. I just... From the moment this Faust dude became the main focus of the movie, this this goofy Robotnik... Honestly, honestly, no. I call him Robotnik, but he's more of a doofenshmirtz, man. I call him Robotnik because I feel like only somebody as depraved and twisted as Robotnik, and real, realistically as goofy as, like, the car... Specifically, like, the cartoon, like, sad... I think it's the Sad AM? No, not the Sad AM one. The one where... The, the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Um... That specific Dr. Robotnik, I could totally see him thinking of something just as goofy and as vile as this and just laughing, just laughing his ass off at it, right? Just casually making something like that to just, for, just for shits and giggles. So I could totally see him doing that, right? And, right, I, but mainly I call him Doofenshmirtz because he's just, and, and Faust be, mainly because he's very awkward, very creepy, off-putting. He's just so weird. He's not really... I, I, I think he plays... The, the, the dude playing the character... I think he does a pretty fantastic job. I'm not gonna lie. I just think his character was written to be really, really weird. Um, and I don't I don't think he's creepy. I just think he's... I just think he's honestly really goofy and funny. Um, he's... Again, uh, he reminds me of Faust and Doofenshmirtz because, again, he, it, it's, he, he pulls out all these wacky contraptions like this. Like these just random random things like the, like the tranquilizer gun um I'm trying to think of of something else uh, he pulls out like he used like dentist tools on him sorry i had to get a drink of water there but he pulls out like dentist tools on him at some point and you know he's strapping him to like the bed dude it's just <laughs> full wannabe mad scientist it reminds me of something i would see i don't really re i rem i i've been re-watching old cartoons um but i haven't really gotten to phineas and ferb so but i remember like back in the day watching phineas and ferb and i remember him like turning Pla perry the platypus into like other animals and stuff and it just reminds me of something like that it's just it, 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 he, he came out with like all these wacky contraptions it, 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 it's just you know so it's so cartoony man it's so doofenshmirtz right i i i i honestly kind of love him i'm not gonna lie i think he's i think he's pretty well written and i think they do i honestly think he is a pretty unsettling character like if i came across that man in real life i would be pretty scared so they did they did a good job honestly on his character and his character alone i just think he, I, he he's dumb in the movie they do some he does some pretty dumb things um I'm now that I'm thinking back on it, maybe that pool thing was like part of his ruse or whatever, but I I still think he's just an idiot for even doing something like this. You're just stupid, right? Maybe like the, the, you have to be down to the depth of depravity, and I can see that. Like if you're really, really, you've gone through some really upsetting stuff. Let's say you went onto nhentai.com and you just decided to look at the first thing you saw, right? Um, some like some innocent looking thing, you know, some, one, one, one of these, one of these bad boys, right, and you decided to read through one of them, and, you know, it just had such a profound impact on you that you just decided, you know, that you wanted to be the, the weird hentai dude, so you decided to 
do whatever that crap is, man. You're stupid. You're an idiot, dude. You're you're just a moron, okay? I I just had to I had to come out and absolutely belittle this dude for a minute because he, he, he I like he I like his character, but what an idiot, man. And honestly, what a, what a stupid movie, man. What a, what a, what a ridiculous fucking film. Um, realistically. If you want me to give it a rating, I'm not giving it a rating. Uh, I haven't even finished the movie. And if you want me to give it like a serious look at, I mean, I guess I can. I don't know. I just wanted to dump on this movie, to be honest. It was really stupid. Anyways, yeah, that's that's really it. I thought I would have to... This was really just supposed to be me like kind of recording my initial thoughts on it. Like, just kind of like organizing like the stuff I wanted to say in my head but honestly I said everything I needed to say so I'll just upload this as it is yeah this that movie trash bro (laughs) have a good day guys